the Nightly Spirit. I'm your host, Willie Mo Jr. Live and family in the studio with me still is our sister, Erica Campbell. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. It's right yes. now, it's a young lady or, or a seasoned saint, mm-hmm. and they have a dream, something that God has put on the inside of them. They've mm-hmm. had children. They have yeah. a husband. And sometimes they feel like, you know what, I can't even go after it anymore. You've yeah. done an awesome job of balancing that, if, there, if there's such a such thing, mm-hmm. but your family's still intact. Mm-hmm. How do you balance? I would say... All things are possible to them that believe. What do you believe? Do you believe you are called? If you believe that you are called and God gave you something substantial to give to the world, he'll give you the grace to handle it. I believe I have the family that I'm supposed to have with the, that matches the ministry um, that I have. But even with all that I do in Psalms 23, the Bible says he maketh me to lie down, right? Sometimes God has to kind of, let your voice get too hoarse where you can't sing. You, you sounded like, like a preacher to. just then. Yeah. You did. <laughs> no, you went KJV so on me. I did. I, just I did. To tell huh? you that. Make it. But Praise God. Make it. Praise me. God. But I, you have to, you have to get rest. You have to take time for you. Um, but you have to, you know. Sometimes I tell my family and I tell my kids, okay, husband, I'm gonna be gone for a week, but when I come back, I'm all yours. All you. Um, so I, I focus when I'm gone and I, I do as much as I can. So sometimes when I'm out of town, I do work from sunup to sundown. Wow. Um, and then when I go home, I'm, I'm full on mommy. I take my moments and I know how to kind of escape and take a moment mentally where I don't allow myself to feel stressed. And that's a spirit. You have to rebuke it. Oh, you have to know how to make the enemy be subject to who you want to be. The Bible says be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You can't think it one more time. I'm going to be fine. You have to say it kind of over and over again. The enemy understands your words and he whispers to you. And we have to, we make the choice whether we want to listen or not. Amen. Because he'll be telling you, oh no, you can't do that. That's too much. And then you go, oh, you know, I was thinking I can't do that. God didn't give you that. He didn't give you the spirit of fear. He gave you power, love, and a sound mind. A good sound job. mind makes good decisions. So you know when to say yes and you know when to say no. My team is, we're working on the saying no part. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Tina wasn't lying. I do say yes a lot, but they, we've gotten a whole <laughs> lot better. Usually this trip would include a 4 a.m. wake up call. Wow. Now I don't get started till nine. That's like late for me. Glory. I'm going to be up at seven. Like, OK, hey, I'm ready. Are we ready to rock and roll? Because, wow. you know, but Indeed. yeah, balance is possible. Yeah. But fix your mind. You have to get your mind in the right place That's to good. get things done. You have Amen. to kind of you really have to stay positive. It's not corny and cheesy. You really have to stay positive That's good. and put God and your faith at the forefront of everything. You have to believe you have to command your day to align with what you want done. Me and my husband, some mornings we hold hands and we say we are walking in God's divine order and destiny. We understand God's will for our lives and we will accomplish that. He's in, what he sent us out to do. Amen. Flutter, 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 flut